Hello, today we're going to be finding the percent given the part and the whole. Remember last week we were given the percent and the whole. So for example, if I want 25% of 20, I would be given the part, the 25% part of 20. Well, today we're going to be finding the percent given the part and the whole. So again, if we look over here at our beige colored box, we've got our percent portion set up for you. And again, we have the is over of and the percent over 100. And we're going to be finding percents now. You do this all the time when you get graded papers. If you got a four out of seven, you always would ask a teacher, what percent did I get? What grade did I get? Well, this is how you find out how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up my is of percent and 100. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start decoding. We need to know what percent is 15 out of 20. So again, I'm looking for my is word and my of word and my percent. So again, is is 15, so I'm going to go ahead and erase my is and put in my 15. Now we have of, of 20, so I'm going to go ahead and erase my of and put the 20 in there. And I don't know my percent, so that is what is blank. What percent are we trying to find? Okay, so that is our unknown, our P for percent. So again, some of us can see what is happening here if I look at my two proportions. I know that something's happening between 20 and 100, and I can apply that to 15 and the P for percent. All right, I know that 20 times 5 is 100. So if I take the 15 times 5, and I will get my P as well. And those two ratios would be proportional. Now, again, it's not always that easy. So sometimes we would need to set up our cross multiplication and figure out what our percentage is. So let's figure out which two numbers are diagonal from each other. In this case, our 15 and our 100 are diagonal from each other. So I'm going to be taking 15 times 100, and I'm going to divide it by 20. When I solve for that, I'm going to get my percent. My percent is 75%. So if you got a test or a quiz or a paperback that you got 15 points out of 20, that would be 75%. And if we had done 15 times 5, we would have gotten 75 as our answer as well. All right, moving on to example two, what percent is 18 out of 30? Again, real fast, I'm going to set up my is and my of and my unknown percent and my 100 for always out of 100 percent. All right, what is 18 out of 30? So again, here is my is. So I'm going to go ahead and replace my is with 18. Okay, my of is 30. So again, I'm going to erase my of and replace it with 30. And then again, I don't know what percent. So that's going to remain my p, my variable. All right. Now in this one, I don't know how many 30s go into 100 because it doesn't go in evenly. So if I multiplied it, it would be a mixed number or a decimal to multiply 30 to make 100. And then I would have to also apply that by 18. So you're welcome to figure that out, or we can go ahead and cross multiply and divide. So let's go ahead and look at our two numbers that are diagonal from each other. And we're going to go ahead and multiply them. So 18 times 100 divided by 30 gives us 60%. So if you got 18 out of 30 days, let's say it rained, 
which has kind of been raining a lot. So 18 out of 30 days, it has rained. We could say that 60% of the time it has been raining. All right, let's go on to example three. What percent is 12 out of 25? So again, let's go ahead and set up our is over of and our percent out of 100. All right, so go ahead. What is our is? Our is is 12. So we're going to go ahead and put is, uh, 12 in there. Start writing is again. Okay. Our of is 25. And now we're trying to find the percent. All right. Again, this is one that you could look at and know. I know four 25s make 100. So four 12s make what? Again, if we do not know or we cannot see that relationship between the numbers, we can cross multiply and divide. So go ahead and solve for 12 times 100 divided by 25. And we end up getting 48%, which if we had solved times the four, for the 25 and the 12 to make them equivalent fractions, equivalent ratios, 12 times four is 48%. All right, last example, Susie plays softball. When Susie is up to hit the ball, called at bat, she hits the ball 14 out of 35 times. What is Susie's percent of hitting the ball the next time she is up to bat? All right, so again, word problem. Not scary. As soon as we start decoding it, we can figure out all the pieces. All right, so I know that she, she hit the ball 14 out of 35 times. Okay, well, I know I see an of right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase my of. Here's my of, 35. Okay, I know she hits the ball 14 out of 35. Well, that kind of looks like a ratio right there, 14 out of 35. And I'm looking for what is Susie's percent. Well, I know that's going to be my P. What percent are we trying to find? So even though is is not by the 14, I know that 14 out of 35 can be written like a fraction, 14 out of 35, just like that. And that can give me the percent out of 100. Again, looking at, I don't know how many 35s make 100. Again, that's going to be a mixed number or a decimal number being multiplied. So when it's, again, a harder number like this, go ahead and do our cross multiplication. Go ahead and figure out what is 14 times 100 divided by 35. And our answer is going to be 40%. Now, some of you who don't understand baseball or softball, that is totally okay. 40% is actually a pretty good batting, um, uh, batting average. Anything around 50 is a decent player. So Susie, even though she hits the ball about 40% of the time, she's a pretty good hitter, and she would be a good person to have on her team.